You are listening to a blogcast from Marsha Riggers entitled Gratitude and Forgiveness. In a year seemingly stolen from us, gratitude is certainly not the first thought in reflection. And forgiveness? How does one forgive those individuals or groups who, through a need for power, incompetence, or denial, cause the death of millions and change daily life for us all? I recently read that when we release expectation and invite appreciation, all the moments of our lives become openings and opportunities. I suspect this is the place where gratitude is connected to forgiveness, where the expectation of release or completion gives way to the opening for new relationships. For each of us, gratitude and forgiveness are intentional, a choice, a perspective, a conscious decision to see with clarity what is the moment, and in that moment everything looks differently. Gratitude is about awareness, an emotion or temporary feeling that reaches inward and extends outward. It is the sight of a simple, beautiful blossom, a stunning sunrise, or the complex, soul-jarring awe of a hug between lovers or a hand's soft touch between patient and caregiver. To be truly grateful, that which flows from the heart needs to be named <clears throat> or identified. What did I just see or hear or feel that brought forth gratitude? And in that moment, what path was cleared? What fog lifted? What relationship changed or was forgiven? Gratitude is motivating, and it leads to a response. The year was not stolen from us. In many simple and complex moments, we saw what matters and what we value. Our experience opened each of us to new possibilities, to see the potential for all parties in forgiveness. Gratitude was love alive in those moments, and I am grateful. Thank you for listening to this broadcast from the Center for Religious Wisdom and World Affairs. If you would like to learn more, please visit us on seattle.edu forward slash the center.